Hello friends, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix missing printer properties of any Canon printer in any Windows operating system. Windows 10, Windows 11, 7, 8, 8.1. It is work on the all Windows operating system with any Canon printer. First of all, I see the error I and then I fix that error. We see that error and then fix this error. First, I go to any app or any software and I go to the here files, files, printer, go to the printer or control P and here we find our printer properties is open. Select our printer. In this case, I have problem with this printer. I select that printer, select your problem printer and click on the print settings. And here we find printer properties is missing from the Canon printer. This is our problem and we are going to solve this problem by the simplest way. Okay, click on the cancel. I give two methods in a single step. I give two methods. First is the download our drivers and reinstall the drivers. And second is the update Windows drivers and uh, update Windows drivers and find our printer and reinstall that printer. This is the two ways to install or reinstall this printer on our PC. First of all, close it. Close the our win app or win app or software. After that, go to the Anyway browser. Go to the Anyway browser. I go to the Google Chrome. In a Google Chrome, type Canon printer driver. Type Canon printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link is from the Canon. Open the first link. First link is from the Canon driver software and firmware. Open that link. Here we find Canon website. We can search by two ways, by keywords and by products. Always go to the products. I like it. So I go to the by products. In products, go to the here. Don't go to the product range, product category, product series. Directly add your printer model number. Add your printer model number. In this case, my printer model number is Canon 30MF3010. Type your printer model number. And after that, it is directly search your printer click at here if you click at there it's directly go to the printer driver click at here and we can see it's directly go to the our printer driver scroll down here we find your printer printer model number or the name of the your printer then scroll down here we find driver select operating system if we select Windows 11, then it is okay. If it's not select Windows 11 and Windows 11 is not available, then go to the Windows 10 64 bit. Windows 10 64 bit drivers always work with the Windows 11. In this case, I find Windows 11. So I click on Windows 11, then go to the search and go to the first link. First link is always driver link. Open the first link, click at here. It's redirect you to the another page. Click on the download. And our download is started at the top. Here we find our download is completed. Click on the show in a folder after download is completed. Minimize it. Drag this setup file to desktop. Close it. Here is the our drivers file. And this drivers file is actually a zip file and we are going to extract the zip file. Right click on it. Click on show more options. Click on the extract files. Click on the OK. And new folder is created. Double click on it. And in many cases, 99% our drivers are in the drivers folder. Here we find driver and here we find our drivers. Close it. Next step is go to the reinstall our printer driver. That is also very easy and simple. Go to the start. Type printers and scanners. In a printers and scanners, click on the printers and scanners. In a printers and scanner, go to the printer. Here we find many printers. Go to the printer that has a problem. In my case, Canon MF3010 has a problem. So I go to the, this printer, select that printer. Click on the printer properties. Here we find printer properties. Click on printer properties. Minimize or close it. Next option is here we find our printer properties. In a printer properties, go to the advanced. Click on the advanced. In advanced, here we find driver, our printer name. Here we find new driver. Click on that new driver, new window is pop up, click on the next. Here we find Windows update. Our first option is Windows update. Click on the Windows update and it take 10, 50 or 20 minutes. Wait for a 10, 20 or 50 minutes and after update is complete, select Canon from here and find your printer list from this list. Find printer from this list. If you find your printer, 
then select that printer and install it. In many cases, it's work. If it's not work, then next option is Hiverdix. Click on Hiverdix, click on the browse. Recently, we download our drivers on the desktop. Go to the desktop, we extract that folder, select that folder, newly extracted folder, double click on it, double click on the driver or find the drivers from the all folders or the for the this folder. I select drivers, I sure my drivers are in the driver. So I go to the driver. In drivers, we find three, four, five, many files. Then select any file. All files contain same drivers. Select any file, click on the open, click on the OK. And here we find many files. If you find single file or single name, then select that. If you find one single serial number, select that. If you find many, many printers, then select your printer properly. In this case, my printer name is Canon MF3010. Select your printer. Click on the next. Click on the finish. It's take few seconds. Wait for a few seconds or few minutes. Click on the apply. It's take few minutes. And click on the OK and go to the start and open any software or any app that you want. I, I open Photoshop, open any file and go to the files, print and select your printer once again. In this case, this is the our printer. Click at there, click on the printer setting this time. And here we find all printer properties are back or reinstall on our Windows PC or laptop. Here we find all missing printer properties on our printer. So guys, this is the simplest way to fix this simple problem on our Windows operating system in any Windows operating system. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.